Welcome to the Top Advent Tours channel as we explore 20 of the most amazing historical sites in the world. Join us now as we journey across continents to uncover the secrets and stories held within the stones of these 20 remarkable historical sites. Number 20, Meteora Monasteries, Greece. High above the plains of central Greece, a series of sandstone pillars rise dramatically from the landscape, their peaks crowned with an astonishing sight, the monasteries of Meteora. These sacred structures seemingly suspended in the sky are a testament to the enduring power of human faith and the sheer ingenuity of their construction. The first inhabitants of these towering cliffs were hermit monks, seeking solace and isolation in the 9th century. They lived in natural recesses within the rock, their only access a perilous climb up ropes and ladders. Over time their numbers grew, and the need for more permanent structures arose. The monasteries we see today, mostly dating back to the 14th and 15th centuries, are architectural marvels. Materials, think of the sheer weight of stone and timber, had to be hauled up these sheer cliffs, a feat of engineering that boggles the mind even today. The most famous of these sky-high sanctuaries is the Monastery of Great Meteoron, the largest and oldest. Its buildings cling precariously to the edge of the precipice, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. Inside you'll find centuries-old frescoes, intricate carvings, and a tangible sense of peace that permeates the very air. The Monastery of Varlam, for instance, boasts a beautiful courtyard and a 16th-century church adorned with exquisite frescoes. Then there's the Monastery of Rusanu, dedicated to St. Barbara, its history interwoven with tales of resilience in the face of Turkish invasions. And let's not forget the Monastery of Holy Trinity, perched atop a particularly slender pinnacle, accessible only by a series of steps carved into the rock face. Today, the Meteora Monastery stand as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a reminder of the enduring power of faith and the boundless capacity of human ingenuity. They are a place where time seems to stand still, where the silence is broken only by the chirping of birds and the rustling of the wind through the ancient pines. Number 19, Cappadocia, Turkey. Our journey takes us now to the heart of Anatolia, in present-day Turkey, to a landscape unlike any other on Earth, Cappadocia. Imagine a world of fantastical rock formations, sculpted by the patient hand of erosion over millions of years. Here, Volcanic eruptions, wind and rain have conspired to create a surreal landscape of towering fairy chimneys, undulating valleys, and hidden cave cities. This otherworldly region has been a place of refuge and innovation for millennia. Early humans, seeking shelter from the elements and invaders alike, discovered the soft volcanic rock could be easily carved and shaped. Thus began the creation of subterranean cities entire communities disappearing underground, leaving no trace on the surface. Among the most impressive of these troglodyte dwellings is the underground city of Derinkuyu. This subterranean labyrinth, extending some 85 meters deep, could house up to 20,000 people, complete with living quarters, stables, kitchens, even a church. But Cappadocia's wonders are not confined to what lies beneath the surface. Above ground, the same volcanic rock that provided shelter also became a canvas for artistic and spiritual expression. Churches, chapels, and monasteries were carved directly into the soft stone, their interiors adorned with vibrant frescoes that have miraculously survived the centuries. The Gorim Open Air Museum, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stands as a testament to this rich artistic heritage. Here, you can wander through a complex of rock-cut churches and chapels, their walls adorned with scenes from the life of Christ, painted in a style that blends Byzantine and local influences. The dark church, named for its dimly lit interior, is a highlight. Its frescoes, remarkably well-preserved thanks to the lack of sunlight, are considered some of the finest examples of Byzantine art in the region. The region's fairy chimneys, those tall cone-shaped rock formations topped with harder, more resistant rock, dot the landscape like giant mushrooms. Legend has it that these formations were once living beings, mischievous fairies turned to stone by the rising sun. Cappadocia, with its blend of natural wonder and human ingenuity, offers a truly unforgettable experience. It's a place where you can step back in time, explore hidden cities, marvel at ancient art, and simply lose yourself in the beauty of a landscape sculpted by forces far beyond our comprehension. Number 18th. Mont Saint-Michel, a fortress between land and sea. 
Our journey takes us westward now, to the shores of Normandy, France, where a site of breathtaking beauty awaits, Mont Saint-Michel. Imagine a tidal island, rising dramatically from the vast expanse of sand flats, its crown dominated by a medieval abbey, its spire reaching for the heavens. This is Mont Saint-Michel, a place of pilgrimage, legend, and architectural wonder. For centuries this island has held a mystical allure. Legend tells of Aubert, Bishop of Avranches, who was visited by the archangel Michael himself, instructing him to build a church atop the island. And so began Mont Saint-Michel's journey from a humble hermitage to one of the most important pilgrimage sites in medieval Christendom. As you approach the island, either by foot across the treacherous quicksand, or by the modern causeway, the sheer scale of the abbey is awe-inspiring. The abbey, a marvel of Gothic architecture, is a labyrinth of soaring arches, delicate tracery, and intricate carvings. Within its walls, you'll find the cloister, a serene oasis of peace where monks once strolled and contemplated, and the refectory where they shared meals in silence. But perhaps the most breathtaking space of all is the abbey church perched at the highest point of the island. Its soaring nave bathed in ethereal light seems to defy gravity, while the views from the top of the spire offer an unparalleled panorama of the surrounding bay. Twice a day, the tides here perform a dramatic dance, transforming the surrounding bay from a vast expanse of sand into a swirling cauldron of water. At low tide you can walk for miles across the exposed seabed, the abbey looming large in the distance. Today Mont Saint-Michel is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a magnet for visitors from around the globe drawn to its beauty, its history, and its unique atmosphere. Whether you're exploring the abbey's labyrinthine corridors, strolling across the vast sand flats at low tide, or simply gazing in awe at its majestic silhouette from afar, a visit to Mont Saint-Michel is an experience that will stay with you long after you've left its shores. Number 17, Sijiriya, Sri Lanka, the Lion Rock Fortress of Sri Lanka. Our destination takes us to the heart of Sri Lanka, an island nation known for its lush landscapes, ancient ruins, and vibrant culture. Here, amidst the emerald green rice paddies and dense jungles, rises a site that seems to defy both nature and imagination. Sijiriya, the Lion Rock Fortress. Imagine a massive rock monolith, rising abruptly from the surrounding plains, its sheer walls adorned with ancient frescoes, its summit crowned with the ruins of a long-lost palace. This is Sijiriya, a testament to the ambition, artistry, and ultimately, the tragedy of a king. The story of Sijiriya is one of intrigue and betrayal. In the 5th century AD, King Kashyapa, having usurped the throne from his father, chose this dramatic location to build an impregnable fortress palace, a testament to his power and a refuge from his enemies. The ascent to the summit is an adventure in itself. You'll wind your way through terraced gardens, marvel at the ingenuity of the ancient water gardens, and encounter the famous Sigeria Lion Gate. This colossal gateway, carved in the form of a lion's paws, once guarded the final ascent to the palace complex. Though only the paws remain today, their sheer scale hints at the grandeur of the original structure. As you climb higher, you'll encounter the mirror wall, a smooth, polished surface that once reflected the palace gardens in all their glory. Today it's covered in graffiti, not the destructive kind but verses of poetry and musings left by visitors over the centuries, a testament to the enduring allure of this place. But perhaps the most captivating feature of Siberia is the series of frescoes that adorn a sheltered pocket of the rock face. These paintings, dating back to the 5th century, depict celestial nymphs, their figures rendered in vibrant colors and flowing lines. Known as the Maidens of the Clouds, these enigmatic figures have captivated art historians and visitors alike for centuries. Reaching the summit, you'll be rewarded with breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. Today, Sigiria is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a place where history, nature, and art intertwine to create an unforgettable experience. Whether you're marveling at the ancient engineering feats, contemplating the enigmatic beauty of the frescoes, or simply soaking in the breathtaking views from the summit, a visit to Sigiria is a journey back in time, a reminder of the enduring power of human creativity and the ephemeral nature of Number 16, Colosseum, Italy. Our journey begins in the heart of the Roman Empire, in the city that was once the center of the world, Rome. Here, amidst the modern hustle and bustle, stands a monument to the power and grandeur of ancient Rome, the Colosseum. Imagine the roar of the crowd, the gladiators, 
their bronze bodies glistening in the sun, steel clashing against steel in a dance of life and death. This was the reality of the Colosseum, an amphitheater capable of holding over 50,000 spectators, all eager to witness the spectacles that unfolded within its walls. The Colosseum, originally known as the Flavian Amphitheater, was commissioned by Emperor Vespasian in 70 AD and completed by his son Titus in 80 AD. Constructed from travertine limestone, volcanic tuff and brick-faced concrete, the Colosseum was a marvel of its time. Its complex system of arches, vaults and passageways allowed for the efficient movement of people and animals, a feat of engineering that still impresses today. The Colosseum wasn't just a place for gladiatorial combat, it was a stage for a variety of public spectacles, from mock naval battles to animal hunts, public executions, and even theatrical performances. These events, often brutal and bloody, were a central part of Roman life, a way for the emperors to entertain the masses and solidify their power. Today the Colosseum stands as a silent witness to a bygone era. Its once imposing facade is scarred by time and the elements, a reminder of the impermanence of even the grandest empires. Yet despite its age and the ravages of time, the Colosseum still retains an aura of power and majesty. The Colosseum is not just a ruin, it is a testament to the enduring power of human creativity and a reminder that even the greatest empires eventually crumble and fall. Number 15, Machu Picchu, Peru. We journey now from the heart of the Roman Empire to the cloud-shrouded peaks of the Andes Mountains, to a place shrouded in mystery and legend, Machu Picchu. This ancient Incan city, perched high above the Urubamba River Valley, is a testament to the ingenuity and architectural prowess of a civilization that thrived centuries ago. Discovered by the outside world in 1911 by Hiram Bingham, Machu Picchu is believed to have been built in the 15th century by the Inca Emperor Pachacuti. This breathtaking citadel, often referred to as the Lost City of the Incas, was a royal estate and religious sanctuary. The city is comprised of over 150 buildings, including temples, palaces, residences, and agricultural terraces, all meticulously crafted from massive granite blocks fitted together with astonishing precision. The Incas, lacking modern tools or iron, quarried these enormous stones from the surrounding mountainsides and transported them to the site using a system of ropes, rollers, and sheer manpower. One of the most remarkable features of Machu Picchu is its sophisticated water management system. The Incas, masters of hydraulic engineering, designed a network of channels, fountains, and aqueducts that supplied the city with fresh water year-round. This system, still functioning today, is a testament to the Incas' deep understanding of their environment and their ability to harness the forces of nature. The purpose of Machu Picchu remains somewhat of a mystery. Some believe it was a ceremonial center, a place where the Incas performed rituals and celebrated their connection to the cosmos. Whatever its original purpose, Machu Picchu today stands as a powerful symbol of the Inca civilization, a testament to their ingenuity, artistry, and deep connection to the natural world. Number 14, Alhambra, Spain, a palace of dreams. From the heights of the Andes we journey now to the sun-drenched plains of Andalusia, in southern Spain, to a place where Islamic art and architecture reach their zenith, the Alhambra. This magnificent palace and fortress complex, perched atop a hill overlooking the city of Granada, is a testament to the artistry and sophistication of the Nasrid dynasty, the last Muslim rulers of Spain. The Alhambra, whose name derives from the Arabic Alcala Alhamra, meaning the Red Fort, was originally built as a small fortress in the 9th century. However, it was under the rule of the Nasrid dynasty beginning in the 13th century that the Alhambra was transformed into the architectural masterpiece we see today. Stepping through the Gate of Justice, one of the Alhambra's grand entrances, is like stepping into another world. Gone are the sounds of the modern city, replaced by the gentle murmur of fountains and the whisper of the wind through the cypress trees. The Alhambra is a sensory feast, a place where every surface is adorned with intricate carvings colorful tiles, and verses from the Quran. The Alhambra is not just one building but a complex of palaces, courtyards, gardens, and water features, all designed to create an atmosphere of tranquility and beauty. The Nazareth rulers, patrons of art and learning, sought to create a paradise on earth, a reflection of the gardens of paradise described in the Quran. One of the most iconic features of the Alhambra is the Court of the Lions, a stunning example of Islamic architecture. 
This open-air courtyard, named after the 12 marble lions that adorn its central fountain, is surrounded by a colonnaded walkway and features intricate stucco work, colorful tile work, and a mesmerizing play of light and shadow. Today, the Alhambra stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of Islamic art and architecture in Europe. Number 13. Moai Statues, Easter Island, Chile, The Enigma of the Moai Our journey takes us now to one of the most remote inhabited islands on Earth, a place shrouded in mystery and wonder, Easter Island, or Rapa Nui, as it is known by its indigenous people. Here, scattered across the windswept landscape stand the enigmatic Moai, giant stone statues that have captivated the imagination of explorers and historians for centuries. These monolithic figures, some towering over 30 feet tall and weighing over 80 tons, are a testament to the ingenuity and artistic skill of the Rapa Nui people, who carved them from volcanic tuff, a relatively soft rock found on the island. Imagine the backbreaking labor, the dedication, the sheer faith it must have taken to carve, transport, and erect these colossal figures. The Moai, with their distinctive elongated faces, pursed lips, and enigmatic expressions, seem to stare out over the island, silent guardians of a lost civilization. But who were they built for? What purpose did they serve? These are questions that have puzzled archaeologists and historians for generations. Some believe the Moai represent deified ancestors, their presence a source of protection and spiritual power for the living. Others speculate they were symbols of status, erected by rival clans to demonstrate their power and prestige. Whatever their original purpose, the Moai are a powerful reminder of the ingenuity and resilience of the human spirit. The story of Easter Island is a cautionary tale, a reminder of the delicate balance between humanity and the environment. Number 12, Himeji Castle. The White Heron takes flight. Our final destination takes us to the land of the rising sun Japan, to a place where history and legend intertwine amidst soaring pagodas and serene gardens, Himeji Castle. This magnificent structure, often referred to as White Heron Castle due to its elegant white exterior and soaring roof lines, is considered the finest surviving example of Japanese castle architecture. Himeji Castle, located in Hyogo Prefecture, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a national treasure of Japan. Its history dates back to the 14th century, though the main keep, the iconic symbol of the castle, was completed in 1609. Unlike many European castles built primarily for defense, Himeji Castle was designed to be both a formidable fortress and a symbol of power and prestige. As we approach the castle we are struck by its imposing presence. Its white walls, made from plaster and whitewash, seem to glow in the sunlight, while its multiple roof lines adorned with intricate carvings and gilded ornaments soar towards the heavens like the wings of a giant bird. The castle's design is a masterpiece of defensive architecture with its maze-like layout, steep staircases, and hidden compartments designed to confuse and disorientate attackers. Himeji Castle, despite its long history, has never been attacked in battle, a testament to its formidable defenses and the strategic brilliance of its design. However, it has survived numerous earthquakes, fires, and even the bombings of World War II, a testament to the skill and craftsmanship of its builders. The main keep, a six-story wooden structure, offers stunning views of the surrounding city and countryside. Himeji Castle is more than just a fortress. It is a symbol of Japanese history and culture. Its elegant design, intricate details, and serene gardens reflect the Japanese aesthetic sensibility, a deep appreciation for beauty, simplicity, and harmony with nature. Number 11. Angkor Wat, Cambodia. Our journey begins deep within the lush jungles of Cambodia, where we encounter the sprawling temple complex of Angkor Wat, a testament to the power and artistry of the Khmer Empire. Imagine a city of towering temples, their spires piercing the sky, a symphony in stone echoing with the chants of priests and the bustle of daily life. Angkor Wat, the largest religious monument ever constructed, sprawls across an area of over 400 acres. Its moat, a shimmering ribbon of water, encircles this sacred city, symbolizing the oceans surrounding Mount Meru, the mythical home of the gods in Hindu cosmology. As we approach the main temple complex, its five central towers rise like a mountain range, their intricate carvings depicting scenes from Hindu epics and the daily lives of the Khmer people. Each tower represents a peak of Mount Meru, the central peak reaching a height of 213 feet. The intricate carvings that adorn the walls of Angkor Wat are a testament to the artistic genius of the Khmer civilization. 
delicate bas reliefs depict scenes from the Ramayana and Mahabharata, their figures seemingly imbued with life and movement. These carvings are not mere decorations, they are stories etched in stone, preserving the beliefs, legends and aspirations of a civilization. Angkor Wat was more than just a temple complex. It was the heart of the Khmer Empire, a bustling metropolis that thrived for centuries. Today, as we wander through its silent courtyards and deserted chambers, we can almost hear the echoes of the past. The laughter of children, the chanting of monks, the murmur of merchants, all these sounds now silent come alive in our imaginations. As the sun begins its descent, casting long shadows across the temple complex, Angkor Wat takes on an ethereal beauty. Angkor Wat, a testament to the enduring power of human faith and artistry, leaves an indelible mark on the soul. Number 10. Petra, Jordan. Our journey now takes us to the heart of the Jordanian desert, where a city carved from sandstone cliffs emerges like a mirage. This is Petra, the lost city of the Nabataeans, a testament to human ingenuity in a harsh landscape. The Sikh, a narrow gorge, serves as the gateway to Petra. Emerging from the Sikh, the treasury bursts into view. Its facade, adorned with intricate carvings, glows in the desert sun, a testament to the architectural prowess of this enigmatic civilization. The Nabataeans, masters of water management, thrived here. Petra, at the crossroads of ancient trade routes, grew wealthy. Beyond the treasury, Petra reveals more rock-cut wonders. The monastery, larger than the treasury, offers breathtaking views. Petra, a city hewn from the desert, stands as a testament to human ingenuity. Its rock-cut wonders continue to captivate and inspire us. Number 9. Hagia Sophia, Turkey, where empires meet. Our journey takes us now to the bustling metropolis of Istanbul, formerly Constantinople, where East meets West in a magnificent fusion of history, culture, and architecture. Here, standing majestically on the banks of the Bosphorus Strait, is the Hagia Sophia, a testament to the enduring power of human faith and artistic vision. Imagine stepping back in time, to the year 537 AD, when the Byzantine Emperor Justinian the I stood in awe beneath the soaring dome of the newly completed Hagia Sophia. Its massive dome, a marvel of Byzantine engineering, seems to float effortlessly above the vast interior, bathing the space in an ethereal light. Imagine the skilled artisans, their hammers ringing out as they piece together the intricate mosaics that adorn the walls and ceilings of the Hagia Sophia. These glittering masterpieces, crafted from millions of tiny pieces of colored glass and stone, depict scenes from the Bible, portraits of emperors and empresses, and intricate geometric patterns. For over 900 years, the Hagia Sophia served as the Cathedral of Constantinople, the heart of the Byzantine Empire. But in 1453, Constantinople fell to the Ottoman Turks, and the Hagia Sophia underwent a dramatic transformation. Minarets, slender towers from which the call to prayer is made, were added to its exterior, their graceful forms complementing the Byzantine dome. Inside, Islamic calligraphy with its flowing Arabic script adorned the walls, existing in harmony with the Christian mosaics. The Hagia Sophia had become a mosque, a symbol of Ottoman power and Islamic faith. Today, the Hagia Sophia stands as a museum, a testament to the ebb and flow of history, a place where different cultures and religions have left their mark. Standing beneath the soaring dome of the Hagia Sophia, we are reminded of the power of human faith, the enduring legacy of empires, and the beauty that can arise from the confluence of different cultures. Number 8. Pompeii, Italy. Frozen in time. Our journey through time takes a poignant turn as we arrive at the foot of Mount Vesuvius, where the ancient Roman city of Pompeii lies entombed in volcanic ash. Imagine the bustling streets of Pompeii on that fateful August day in 79 AD, Merchants hawked their wares in the forum, children played in the shadow of temples, and citizens went about their daily lives, unaware of the impending catastrophe. High above the city, Mount Vesuvius, a seemingly dormant giant stirred to life. With a deafening roar, it erupted, spewing forth a deadly cloud of ash and pumice that rained down upon Pompeii, burying the city and its inhabitants in a matter of hours. The eruption of Vesuvius, a cataclysmic event that forever altered the landscape of this region, also inadvertently preserved Pompeii in a time capsule. Imagine the archaeologists, centuries later, carefully excavating the layers of ash and pumice, uncovering the remains of Pompeii, its streets, houses, and public buildings, remarkably preserved. 
Walking through the cobbled streets of Pompeii today, we are transported back in time. We can almost hear the clatter of chariot wheels on the stone pavements, the laughter of children playing in the courtyards, and the lively chatter of citizens engaged in conversation in the forum. The houses, with their beautifully preserved frescoes and mosaics, offer a glimpse into the domestic lives of Pompeii's residents. In the bakery of Modestus, we can still see the ovens where bread was baked, the millstones used to grind grain, even loaves of bread, carbonized by the intense heat of the eruption. The Forum, the heart of Pompeii's civic life, stands as a testament to the grandeur of Roman architecture. And then there are the casts of the victims of Pompeii, their bodies preserved in the volcanic ash frozen in the last moments of their lives. Pompeii, a city frozen in time, serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the fragility of human life. Number 7. Acropolis of Athens, Greece. Legacy of Democracy. Our final destination takes us to the cradle of Western civilization, to the sun-drenched hills of Athens, where the Acropolis, a rocky outcrop crowned with magnificent temples, stands as a timeless symbol of democracy, art, and philosophy. Imagine approaching the Acropolis as ancient Athenians once did, ascending the sacred way, a marble pathway leading up to the Propylaia, the monumental gateway to this sacred precinct. The Propylaia, with its gleaming white marble columns and intricate friezes, serves as a fitting entrance to this architectural marvel. As we pass through the gateway, the Parthenon, the most iconic of all the Acropolis structures, dominates the skyline. Its perfectly proportioned Doric columns, seemingly slender yet immensely strong, support a massive marble structure that seems to glow golden in the Athenian sunlight. Dedicated to Athena Parthenos, the patron goddess of Athens, the Parthenon was more than just a temple. It was a symbol of Athenian power, wealth, and artistic achievement. Imagine the skilled craftsmen, their chisels ringing out as they carved the intricate sculptures that once adorned the Parthenon's pediments, metopes, and friezes. These masterpieces, now housed in museums around the world, depicted scenes from Greek mythology, battles between Greeks and mythical creatures, and the legendary procession of the Panathenaic Festival. The Erechtheion with its famous Porch of the Maidens, six draped female figures serving as columns, stands as a testament to the Athenian love of elegance and refinement in architecture. From the Acropolis we can look out over the city of Athens, spread out below us like a map. Imagine the Agora, the bustling marketplace and center of Athenian democracy, where citizens gathered to debate the issues of the day. The Acropolis of Athens, a symbol of democracy, art, and philosophy, stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of ancient Greece. As the sun sets over the Acropolis, casting long shadows across its marble ruins, we are reminded of the words of the Athenian statesman Pericles, who said, future generations will marvel at us, just as our generation marvels at us now. Number 6. Taj Mahal, India. Our destination takes us to the serene banks of the Yamuna River in India, where the magnificent Taj Mahal stands as an enduring testament to the power of love and loss. Imagine a structure so ethereal, so breathtakingly beautiful, that it seems to float on air, a vision in pristine white marble. The Taj Mahal is more than just a tomb, it is a symbol of eternal love, it is a poem in stone, a masterpiece of intricate craftsmanship, a love letter from a Mughal emperor to his beloved wife. Shah Jahan, grief-stricken by the untimely death of his wife Mumtaz Mahal, poured his heart and soul into creating a monument that would immortalize her memory for generations to come. The Taj Mahal's beauty lies in its perfect symmetry, its intricate details and its ethereal quality. The white marble inlaid with precious and semi-precious stones seems to change color with the light, reflecting the moods of the sky, glowing softly in the morning sun, shimmering under the bright midday sky, and taking on a magical aura in the moonlight. As you approach the Taj Mahal, it seems to emerge from a mist, like a dream taking form, its reflection shimmering in the tranquil reflecting pools that surround it. The gardens laid out in the Sharba style symbolize paradise, a fitting setting for a monument dedicated to eternal love and devotion. The central dome, flanked by four minarets, seems to reach for the heavens, aspiring to touch the divine, while the calligraphy that adorns the walls, verses from the Quran, speak of love, loss, and the promise of paradise, a promise of eternal togetherness. The Taj Mahal is a reminder that even in the face of profound loss, love can endure, and that human creativity, fueled by love, 
can create something truly extraordinary and timeless. Number 5. Teotihuacan, Mexico. We journey now to the heart of Mexico, to the Valley of Mexico, where the ruins of Teotihuacan, the city of the gods, stand as a testament to a civilization shrouded in mystery. Imagine a city laid out on a grand scale, its avenues aligned with the stars, its pyramids reaching for the heavens. Teotihuacan was a metropolis, a melting pot of cultures, a center of trade and religion. It was one of the largest cities in the ancient Americas, its influence stretching far beyond its borders. Dominating the city's skyline are the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, massive structures that dwarf the surrounding buildings. These pyramids were not tombs like those in Egypt, but platforms for temples, places where priests performed rituals and communicated with the gods. Climbing the steep steps of the Pyramid of the Sun, you can almost feel the presence of the ancient city's inhabitants. From the summit, the city unfolds before you, its grid-like layout a testament to the Teotihuacano's sophisticated urban planning. The Avenue of the Dead, a wide thoroughfare that runs through the heart of the city, is lined with temples, palaces, and apartment complexes. Teotihuacan is a reminder that there are still mysteries to be uncovered, stories to be told, and that the past can surprise us in unexpected ways. Number 4. Great Wall of China, China. Our journey now takes us to the rugged mountains and vast deserts of northern China, where a colossal dragon of stone snakes its way across the landscape for thousands of miles. The Great Wall of China. Imagine a structure so vast, so ambitious that it can be seen from space, a testament to the enduring spirit of a civilization. The Great Wall is not a single wall, but a series of fortifications built and rebuilt over centuries by successive dynasties, each adding their own chapter to its story. It is a testament to the Chinese people's determination to protect their land and their culture from invaders. The scale of the Great Wall is truly staggering. Stretching for over 13,000 miles, it is the longest man-made structure in the world. Walking along the wall, you can almost hear the echoes of the past, the tramp of soldiers' feet, the clang of swords, the whispers of ancient stories. The wall is not just a physical barrier, it is a symbol of Chinese resilience, a testament to their enduring spirit. Each brick, each watchtower, each pass, tells a story of struggle and sacrifice. As you stand on the wall, gazing out at the vast expanse of mountains and deserts, you can't help but feel a sense of awe and humility. Number 3. Chichen Itza, Mexico. We journey now from the timeless sands of Egypt to the dense and vibrant jungles of Mesoamerica, specifically to the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, where the ancient Mayan city of Chichen Itza stands as a testament to a civilization deeply obsessed with time, astronomy, and the cosmos. Imagine a sprawling city of temples and pyramids, rising majestically from the heart of the jungle, their white limestone facades gleaming brilliantly under the tropical sun. At the very heart of this ancient metropolis lies El Castillo, also known as the Temple of Kukulkan, a towering pyramid that dominates the entire landscape. This is no ordinary pyramid, it is a giant, intricate calendar, a testament to the Mayans' incredibly sophisticated understanding of astronomy. Twice a year, during the spring and autumn equinoxes, a mesmerizing shadow play unfolds on the pyramid's northern staircase. As the sun sets, the shadow cast by the pyramid's northwest corner creates an illusion of a feathered serpent, Kukulkan, gracefully descending the pyramid, as if bridging the heavens and the earth in a divine spectacle. This awe-inspiring spectacle, witnessed by thousands of visitors each year, is a testament to the Mayans' precise and meticulous astronomical calculations and their profound connection to the natural world around them. But Chichen Itza is more than just El Castillo. The city is home to a wealth of other architectural wonders, including the Great Ball Court, the largest of its kind in all of Mesoamerica, where a game with deep ritualistic significance was played using a heavy rubber ball. Chichen Itza stands as a testament to the Mayans' architectural prowess, their sophisticated understanding of mathematics and astronomy, and their rich and enduring cultural traditions. Number 2. Great Pyramid of Giza, Egypt. Our journey through time now takes us to the edge of the vast and arid Sahara Desert, to the historic Giza Plateau, where the last remaining wonder of the ancient world stands in silent majesty, the awe-inspiring Great Pyramid of Giza. Even today, amidst the encroaching modern city, 
the Great Pyramid retains an aura of mystery and grandeur that captivates all who behold it. This colossal structure, built from over 2 million blocks of stone, each weighing an average of 2.5 tons, is a testament to the ingenuity, determination, and engineering prowess of the ancient Egyptians. Imagine the immense logistical challenge of quarrying, transporting, and precisely placing these massive stones without the aid of modern technology or machinery. The Great Pyramid was not just a tomb for the Pharaoh Khufu, it was a grand statement of power, a symbol of his divine right to rule over his people and the land. Deep within the pyramid lies the King's Chamber, where Khufu's sarcophagus rests, forever guarded by the weight of history and the sands of time. The precision with which the pyramid was constructed is astonishing. The internal air shafts, the hidden chambers, and the intricate system of passageways all speak to a level of architectural sophistication that continues to baffle modern-day experts and scholars. The Great Pyramid is more than just a tomb, it is a time capsule preserving within its massive structure the secrets and knowledge of a civilization that flourished over 4,500 years ago. As you stand in the shadow of this ancient wonder, gazing up at its towering height, you can't help but feel a profound sense of awe and humility, a connection to the distant past. Number 1. Temple of Karnak, Egypt Our journey begins in the heart of ancient Egypt on the banks of the Nile River, where the magnificent Temple of Karnak stands as a testament to the power and grandeur of the pharaohs. Imagine a complex so vast, so awe-inspiring that it takes your breath away. This is Karnak, a sprawling city of temples, pylons, and obelisks, built and rebuilt over centuries by generations of pharaohs. As you walk through the towering columns of the Great Hypostyle Hall, the sunlight filtering through the ancient stones, you can almost hear the echoes of priests chanting. Each stone, each carving, whispers tales of a bygone era, of pharaohs who sought to honor their gods and cement their legacy in stone. The sheer scale of Karnak is staggering. It is the largest religious complex ever built, a testament to the ambition and architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians. Towering obelisks, some taller than a modern-day building, pierce the sky, their polished surfaces glinting in the Egyptian sun. The Temple of Karnak is not just a collection of ancient stones, it is a living testament to a civilization that flourished for millennia. As the sun sets over Karnak, casting long shadows across the ancient stones, one cannot help but feel a sense of awe and wonder at the achievements of a civilization so long gone, but not forgotten. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through some of the most amazing historical sites in the world. Each of these sites tells a unique story of human ingenuity and cultural heritage. Until next time, Keep exploring the wonders of our planet and the incredible stories they have to tell.